Okay, here I am again working on my RCA Victor model. That model, 45EY-3. And this is the schematic diagram for it over here. And what I have done so far, uh, you see the guts are turning in there, but they're a mess. Um, the jacked uh, system is, is dead, so I have to change this pulley yet. The drive wheel is turning, which is amazing. Um, uh, usually the rubber is so bad you get uh, all kinds of wow and flutter. This is the input from the phono cartridge. You can probably hear there's a little bit of sound coming out of the speaker. The system is still pretty weak. I have more to do to it. Um, but what I have done so far, I haven't checked the tubes yet, but I've changed all the capacitors and all of the resistors. And I changed the filter capacitors here. Uh, most people, when they rebuild an amp, they'll change the filter capacitors and maybe a couple other capacitors and rarely resistors but all these things can drift and since this is an early 50s uh, 45 player uh, I'm sure they have all drifted out of spec so I, I just go ahead and replace them all and totally rebuild the unit so you can see here the they're all in there they're all new capacitors new resistors all throughout and new power uh, resistor there the tubes are working they're lit but i'm probably going to replace all the tubes too uh, i did hook this up to my phone and uh, while i'm recording i'm going to try to switch over and put some music going through this system here right out of my phone while i'm recording uh, so just bear with me a second okay that didn't work I was trying to uh, show you how my amp sounded, this uh, amplifier that's been rebuilt. Um, and, um, well, I couldn't keep the camera running and the music playing through my phone at the same time. So I had to go down and uh, go get my laptop. And I got a YouTube video going here, which I will start up. And now we have sound coming out of the amp. So you can see, you hear a little bit of noise because the, the motor is still turning there and that section has not been rebuilt. But aside from that rumbling and that motor turning, there's no hum at all. Uh, I do hear a hum, but it's, it's from back there, the mechanism. And as I turn up the volume, very good sensitivity at a very low setting. Plenty of blow you out of the room. the vibration but it's, it's vibrating maybe I see a little bit but the amp is working fine so it's time for uh, the amp to go back in its cabinet and the uh, next thing is going to be uh, redoing the cartridge I'm going to put a new cartridge on it a diamond needle with a metal cantilever and I'm going to send out this roller and uh, you probably can see this pinch roller there under the motor. That's going to be sent out and, and new rubber put on. I'm going to take the motor apart and rebuild it, clean it out, oil it. All this stuff will be cleaned out. All these, this mechanism, exchange, the eject and exchange, record exchange mechanism um, will be cleaned. All the moving parts will be oiled. This part here is definitely dry as can be, but it's still working. Um, these fixtures, they're all 
well dry. Um, I don't think the unit has been used much because the case is in excellent condition and it's hard to find one of these units that has a very good case. So I think it was well taken care of and not used that often. And as a result, everything is in really good shape. Um, aside from the oil uh, evaporating over time, uh, the unit is a 1950. 152 actually I think it's a 5051 uh, because I was looking at the schematic I downloaded another schematic diagram for it and uh, based on the, uh, the way the tubes are laid out in here um, I believe it's a uh, 191a um, then one the RP 190 uh, that's the board here the RP191 is a 1950, 1950, and it was into 1951, but you see there's an A there, and the, the 191 did not have a diode tube, it had a selenium rectifier. So this is the first unit to come out with a diode tube, um, and so... Um, most of the schematics that have the diode tube are saying, like this schematic does here, are saying that it's a uh, my magnifying glass for you here. Are saying that it's uh, right there a one. You can't see that, but an RP 190-3, which came out in around 52. So I believe this is a 5051 unit. Still haven't done any cleaning, still some dirt inside, but all of this will be reserviced next as after I put the amp in. And uh, we will continue from there. Thank you for looking at this, this video as uh, we rebuild this uh, awesome RCA Victor Model 45EY3.